Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today's slide, uh, we're dealing with uh, a lot of information that needs to be communicated and because of the way it's been put on the slide, it's not easy to understand. Let me show you this slide. It comes from one that was sent to me for a workshop. And this is a fairly typical where what we do is we have a number of results that we want to uh, communicate to our audience. but what happens here is is that we write them out and basically these are speaker notes and if you look at the way the text is actually structured it's almost the way that they're going to uh, speak it to the audience so sales uh, decreased 6.8 percent versus calendar year 2008 well that's good as speaker notes but as a communication visual it really doesn't work because What's happening here is a couple things. First of all, the related information is not close to each other. So what we've done in 2009 and what we're going to do in 2010 in that same area are split. They're in two different sections of the slide. So it makes it very hard for the audience to put those together and see how it's going to work. The other thing is, is because of all of the words and additional numbers, which are really duplicates, what happens is we end up with people not really understanding it because there's just far too much to try to take in. Anytime you ask your audience essentially to do math or figure out the numbers for yourself for themselves, it's too hard. So here's what I did to redo this slide. So here are the metrics for calendar 2009 and what our plans are for the next year. If we take a look at sales and units, we were down. Um, you know, that's because of the economy, we're down in both of those areas. Uh, our goal in 2010 is to start our way back. We're, there's no way we can get it all back, but at least we can start. Uh, on the remanufacture, uh, that was a good news story because we went from 8.5% down to 78 So that's a good percent. And our goal in 2010 is to reduce that a further 10%. And so we've got some uh, work methods and processes that we're going to put in place to help with that. And our breakage, again, is a very good story. We were down 40% year over year. That's a huge uh, improvement because the equipment we're using, the new equipment we brought in. Now we're going to tweak that new equipment. And I think in uh, 2010, we can bring that down another 10%. We won't see the dramatic drop, but another 10%. See, see what we did in this slide is we put the related information close so people could easily line that up and and we use some visuals in order to be able to give people an idea of ah okay is this a good or bad news story so what are the lessons we can learn well before we get to the lessons just a reminder if you want more information on the book go to www.visualslideRevolution.com more information on uh, the rest of what I do, training, consulting, uh, videos, resources, go to my main website, www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So our lessons uh, for organizing information, using a table is the best way to do it. So some of the things that we want to remember. First of all, anytime you have similar items, in this case we had uh, current results and then future plans, put those physically close together because otherwise comparison is too difficult. Make the comparison easy for your audience put the similar items physically close to each other on the slide and then use universal symbols in this case I've used uh, the up or down arrows the red or green arrows the check marks those are all universal symbols use those to visually illustrate what the numbers actually mean what the message is you're trying to get across because simply stating it in words doesn't necessarily help the visual helps when you're creating this sort of a table to organize information, you have two choices. The first choice is to use a text box. Now, a, a standard text box, what you need to do here is use the tab stops, uh, the different types of tab stops. You can use the left ones, the decimal ones to line up numbers. Use those to line up each of your columns that you need. Now, one of the things that are the text box is it's easy to animate uh, and build row by row because that's one of the built-in animations for text boxes. So that's one of the options that you have. The option that I used, uh, just to illustrate it, was the option of using a table within PowerPoint. Now, within uh, PowerPoint, you have the option to insert a table. Here, the alignment is easier because you can, uh, like a spreadsheet, you can format each of the alignments of, of the cells or an entire row or column. The challenge with a table is building it row by row. Now I was able to build it individually cells because what I was doing is I'm using a technique of exit animation. So I have some shapes that cover up 
the figures and then I take them off with exit animation revealing what's underneath. So when you're using a table that's really the only way to build it because it's there's no built-in animation features for a table. So when you've got some information that you want to present organize it in a way that's easy for the audience to understand. Use these lessons to help you organize that information and your presentation will be more effective. This has been Dave Parody with another slide makeover video podcast.